Hey there, and welcome to Cadence Blocks. Cadence Blocks allows you to build beautiful, effective WordPress websites using only the built-in WordPress block editor, and it is lightning fast, so you won't sacrifice performance on your website. In fact, the free version of Cadence Blocks alone is absolutely packed with different blocks that allow you to build any type of page or blog post that you can imagine on your WordPress website. So let's jump in and give you a quick overview of how to use Cadence Blocks. So here on a brand new WordPress install, I'm going to go in and install and activate Cadence Blocks. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose plugins. I'm gonna choose add new plugin. In the search, I'm gonna search Cadence Blocks and it's the first option here that says Gutenberg Blocks by Cadence Blocks. So I'm gonna choose install now. Once that is installed, all you have to do is simply activate the plugin on your website. So with Cadence Blocks active, I'm gonna go build a new page. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose pages and I'm gonna choose add new page. For the title here, I will type home page, and then I'm going to go into the page settings here and configure these page settings for a full width type of page within Cadence Blocks. And so with these page settings set, all we have to do is go in and start building our page. So let's build a hero section in Cadence Blocks. So I'm gonna click in here, type a forward slash and type row layout. And the row layout block is the absolute foundation for building pages within Cadence Blocks. Simply choose your row layout, choose the number of columns that you would like to have your container to have. So I'm gonna choose two columns here, and then I'm gonna jump into the block settings here and start configuring our settings for a hero section. So I'm going to inherit the max width from theme, I'm going to add some additional top and bottom padding for our hero section here, and I'm gonna go in and change the background color of our hero section. So now with our row layout configured for two different columns here, all we have to do is go in and start adding our content. So I'm gonna click on the plus and add a cadence advanced text block here. I'm gonna change this to be an H1 heading and I'm going to type an example headline here. Now with our headline typed out, simply come in and choose the font size that you would like. And then I will add a line height here to condense the vertical spacing in between the two lines here. And now I'm gonna click at the end here and press enter to add a new block below this. We're gonna go in and add another advanced text block here. So I'm gonna choose that. I'm gonna change from an H2 to a paragraph block. I'm gonna paste some placeholder text here for our subheadline, and then add some call to action buttons below this. So I'll add an advanced buttons block from Cadence and choose that. Inside the button here, I'll type call to action. I'll open up the document overview, go to the parent buttons block and add an additional button here. And we're going to justify these buttons to the left. And for the second button, I'm gonna have this say learn more and I'm gonna change this to an outline style for a secondary button. Lastly, I'll come up to the parent buttons block and add a little more of a button gap to add some more spacing in between the two buttons here. Now I'm gonna close out of the document overview and I'm going to add an image to the right-hand side of our hero section here. So I'm gonna click on the plus here and type image and we're going to add an advanced image from Cadence Blocks. I'm gonna choose select image. And since we currently don't have any images in our media library, we will really easily add an image using the built-in Pexels integration. So I'm gonna choose Pexels and I'm gonna search for an image of a laptop. I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna choose this image here. The alt text is automatically added for our image here and I'm gonna choose download image, which downloads and imports the image into our media library. So I'm gonna select that image and so that instantly imports into our editor here, but it is too tall. And so what I'm going to do is use a fixed ratio here and we are going to set this to be a perfect one-to-one -one square. So that is looking much better. I'm gonna go over to the style tab. I'm going to add a border radius of 16 to all four corners, and we're going to add a box shadow here. For the box shadow, we'll choose the sixth color in our global color palette. We'll set a Y value of seven, a blur of 14, and leave the spread at zero. And now the last thing we're gonna do is go to the top level row layout here. We're going to vertically align all of our content in the middle so that our content on the left is vertically aligned with our image here. And that's looking great for our hero section here. But if you don't want to build these sections from scratch, Cadence has hundreds of pre-designed individual website templates along with full pages that you can import instantly into your website using the Cadence Design Library. So I'm gonna go up and click the Cadence Design Library here. And here are hundreds of individual website templates that you can import instantly into your website. So say we want to add some cards beneath our hero section here. I'm gonna choose the cards category on the left-hand side, and I'll choose this one right here. Now that section instantly imports into our website and we can come and customize this section however we would like without having to build it all from scratch. And then let's go back to the Cadence Design Library one more time. And so here are all of the individual patterns that you can import, but Cadence also offers full pages that you can import. So I'm gonna choose the pages tab here, and here are all the full pages that you can import 
There are home pages, about pages, contact pages, etc. And then if you hover over any of these pages, you can see what the page will look like when you go and import it onto your website. And then the best part about all of these templates is that you can use the power of Cadence AI to automatically come up with the copy and the words for each of these individual website templates and full pages. And so if I click on the tab that says with AI, here is where you can activate Cadence AI and you can tell Cadence AI all about your business and what it is that you provide. And then what Cadence AI will do is go in and automatically fill in the copy and words within these website templates that are specific to you and your business. And so this is yet another very powerful feature within Cadence Blocks. But let's go back to the editor here and let's go preview this hero session on the front end. And so that's a really quick overview of how you can use Cadence Blocks to build effective WordPress websites. So download Cadence Blocks today and happy building.